Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English New Album Phuc radio, television station and newspaper. And following are the headlines for today. Bình Phước Party Leader hold a walking session with Fatherland Friends. Local party leader makes outstanding artists. Businesses in Dong Soi City donate land for the construction of Phan Bui Châu Road. Vietnamese and Cambodian party hold a high-level meeting in Hanoi. Defense Minister praises Vietnam rescue forces in Turkey. Goods and goods and product exports are projected to rake in 25 billion US dollar by 2030. And now are the details. Discussion of the Benfuk Fatherland Friends work in 2022 and the mission in 2023 were the highlight of a working session between the Friends representative and secretary of the Benfuk Provincial Party Committee, Nguyễn Mạnh Cương. The local Fatherland Front held democratic centralism as the fundamental organizing principle last year and fully ensure solidarity and the principle of democracy in its management and leadership. In addition to paying due regard to human resources, planning, staff training, and job rotation, the Front also worked tirelessly to renew its operations, diversify measures to develop the national solidarity block, and proactively mobilize people from all walks of life to carry out party policies and state regulations. Patriotic emulation movements were also carried out effectively around the province. Gung highlighted the important role the Fatherland Front plays and urges to do its utmost to further improve the efficiency of emulation movements and better engage in social criticism work and people-to-people -people diplomatic activities. Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee Nguyễn Thị Hằng met with 60 outstanding local artists. Bình Phước Province Literature Association has 270 members specializing in fine art, photography, architecture, and folk music, among others. Their works have been appraised by experts and the public. More than 4,000 literary works and 31 novels short stories and poems were published in 2022. Hang spoke highly of the association's achievements in the past year. Local literature and art activities have been thriving, with an array of works winning prizes in prestigious contests, contributing to carry out the political missions in the locality, she said. She asked the Literature Association to continue implementing Politburo Resolution No. 23 on building and developing literature in the new period. Due attention should also be paid to political education and the development of young talents, she emphasized. Miền Nam College in Tân Bình Walsh, Dong Soi City has voluntarily donated nearly 1,100 square meter of land for the remaining construction of Phan Bui Châu Road. Of the total, 927 square meters were handed over to the city to dismantle houses and build construction works. The donated land and access on the land are valued at more than 3.3 billion Vietnam dong. Site clearance was carried out quickly to complete construction as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam Nguyễn Phú Trọng and the President of Cambodian People Party and Prime Minister Hun Sen co-chair a high-level meeting between the two parties in Hanoi on February the 18th. The event aims to enhance the wood neighborliness, traditional friendship, and comprehensive, sustainable, and long-term operation between Vietnam and Cambodia. The leaders quotes the solidarity between Vietnam and Cambodia, as well as Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos, a priceless asset. They rejoice at the intensive and extensive development of the relations between the two parties, states, and peoples across fields. On this occasion, Vietnamese Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính spoke highly of the bilateral cooperation in economy, trade, investment, culture, education, science, technology, national defense and security, and proposed some specific cooperation orientations. 
On the same day, February the 18th, Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin hosted a reception in Hanoi for General T. Ban, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defense of Cambodia. Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin hosted a reception in Hanoi on February 18th for General T. Ban, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defense of Cambodia. He told his guests that defense collaboration will continue to be an important pillar in the bilateral ties. He asked the two ministries and militaries to continue to work closely together to effectively realize the common perceptions among leaders of the two sides. General Tibang affirms that Cambodia cherishes its ties with Vietnam and thanks Vietnam for the solidarity and great support the party, state, military and people of Vietnam have given to Cambodia during its fights against the Popol genocidal regime in the past and its current national construction and development. Defense Minister General Feng Van Yang sent a letter to embrace its Army Forces participation in a rescue mission in Turkey. Praising the efforts and strong performance in post-earthquake search and rescue activities in Turkey. The minister highlighted that amid many difficulties from the extreme weather conditions and dangers from the continuous aftershocks as well as obstacles in language and the hard living conditions, the force has promoted the tradition of uncle house soldiers, race against time and promptly discover positions with buried victims, enabling timely rescue activity. The officers' activities have shown the responsibility, capacity and reputation of the Vietnam People's Army in the settlement of non-traditional issues. The minister also underlined the force heavy task ahead, expressing hope that the officers will work even harder as Turkish people are in need of them. As of February 17th evening, the Vietnam People's Army Search and Rescue Force has located 12 positions of victims of the disaster including two with signs of survivors. Vietnam expects to earn $25 billion from the export of goods and goods and products by 2030. The export turnover would set a record high of $18 billion by 2023, with wood pellets and wood chips forecast to enter the $1 billion club. The figure will represent a growth rate of 7 to 9%. To that end, the industry will focus on raising the competitiveness of enterprises by reducing the use of imported wood, applying scientific and technological advances in improving labor productivity, and stepping up digital transformation to cut production costs. The export of wood and forestry products was valued at 16.92 billion US dollars last year, surpassing the set target of 3.8% and up 6% year on year. To boost the export, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development will propose the Prime Minister and the government approve relevant policies, such as the National Forestry Planning Scheme for 2021-2030, with a vision towards 2050. Vietnam export to the European and American markets will continue to benefit from free trade agreement that Vietnam signed with partner in the region, according to an official from Europe American Markets Department under the Ministry of Industry and Chase. New generation FTAs including the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Vietnam-Chile FTA, the EU-Vietnam Free Trade Agreement, the Vietnam-Eurasian Economic Union FTA and the UK-Vietnam Free Trade Agreement will continue to have positive impacts on Vietnam's trade, investment and export activities. European and American countries have enhanced the search for alternative goods supply sources and alternative investment locations, and Vietnam may be an option. The move towards producing green and environmentally friendly products will create a competitive advantage for Vietnam's export goods in the future, when the demand for products of this kind in Europe and America is increasing. To further promote exports, the official said, the Ministry of Industry and Trade needs to keep a close watch on the market's developments, and propose cooperation frameworks and measures to expand export markets. And that all for today on Benfug Radio, Television Stations and Newspaper News. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Thank you.